Absalom. God made the promise. And I read that entire passage for a reason. The promise to the Israelites was that when I see the blood on the doorpost, I'll pass over and death will not come into your house. But there was more to it than that. The blood symbolized God's mercy. The blood symbolized God's grace. And when he saw that blood, he knew it was a symbol that this one belongs to me. And so death will not come now to our household. But there were a whole lot of other rules in place. The blood was the symbol. The blood was the signal that said to God, I belong to you. Yet, there was to be no unleavened bread. Yet, when they sat down, they were to have their shoes on and their loins girded. There were all of these rules and regulations that had to be followed. The problem with the church is all we sometimes see is the blood. The blood of Jesus Christ covers me. God looks down and he sees the blood and whatever it is that I did yesterday, whatever it is I'm planning on doing tomorrow, he doesn't see it. Well, that's only true to an extent. God sees the blood and passes over with judgment when you're in relationship with him. But if you're in relationship, the word of the Lord says that those who love him keep his commandments. We can't continue to sit and try to hide under the blood, yet we don't want to do what God has instructed us to do. We
going to meet my husband, and it is so. Amen. We never asked. God, is that your will for me? We want to take Jesus out of the equation. And many times we'll say, no, 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 that's not what I mean. I'm just speaking in faith. Da, 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 da. No, that's exactly what's happening. We get so caught up in routine that now we feel like we just deserve something. Because I'm a pastor, I just deserve to drive a Bentley, even though my entire congregation is broke. Oh, I just deserve to have an entourage. No, Kanye West deserves to have an entourage. Janet Jackson deserves to have an entourage. Why? Because that's the business that they're in. But when we're in kingdom business, we shouldn't need an entourage. We have a hedge of protection built around us. If the Holy Spirit on the inside of you is the Holy Spirit of the Bible, then greater is he that's on the inside of you than he that's in the world. Why do you need a posse to preach the word? Amen. I'm confused. Why do we have pastors that are worried about drive-bys? You got a Hummer. More protected than the president's car. And you're a preacher? Why do so many people hate you? Oh, I know that we're supposed to suffer for the word, but they're not shooting you because of the word. They're shooting you because you slept with their wife. That's why they're shooting at you. They're shooting at you because you owe them drug money. That's why they're shooting at you. It's foolishness. It's foolishness. The Bible says that men will see our good works and glorify our Father who is in heaven. Anytime we're doing good works, but we're getting we got to check ourselves. That should be a stop. Wait a minute. Everybody's saying, you're the bomb. You're great. You're anointed. You're this. You're that. But I haven't heard anybody say, glory be to God. I haven't heard anybody say, thank you, Jesus. I haven't heard anybody say, God is working through you. Stop. Reset. Rewind. God, what have I missed? What am I doing wrong? Whenever we take someone for granted in any type of relationship, it's going to begin to crumble. A lot of times we read this word and we forget the sacrifice that's behind it. We forget that there was actually a man, some woman's son, who carried a cross for miles after he spent the night being beat up and spat upon, after his head was cut up with thorns. We forget he had to carry his own weapon of death up a mountain. We forget that he was laid on wood, splinters going into his back and the back of his legs. We forget that he was literally nailed to a cross and stood up and sacrificed for our good. We forget. We forget that there was real blood that was drawn. We forget that there were real tears that were shed. We forget there was real pain that was suffered. And come into the house of God and say, I am this and I am that. We are nothing without him. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. 